Hello, my name is Jessica Linder Gallo, and I'm the president and CEO of the Aurora Regional Chamber of Commerce. In this video today, we're going to be showing you a quick down and dirty version of how to update your profile on the Chamber's website. Today, I'm joined by one of our fellow Chamber team members, Colleen Doyle. Colleen, welcome to the broadcast. Hello, thanks for having me today. Happy to be here. Thanks for joining us. So for everybody watching, as we're recording this today, we are very excited to be introducing our redesigned website. Regardless of when you're watching this though, we really want you to get comfortable and familiar with our website and all of the tools that it brings to you as a member. I'm gonna go ahead and share our screen here so that we can give you a little bit of a walking tour, if you will, of the website. Ta-da! <laughs> we need a drum roll. All right. Well, um, as Jessica said, we're going to kind of um, give you a really, really quick um, walking tour here. Um, when you come in, tap navigation up there on the white, and you'll see uh, some some key areas to navigate. Um, as members, obviously, membership is is always important um, to go. And in there, that's where you're going to find our member benefits. So if you were to hover over there, you see um, several drop downs that come up, um, including um, our directory, um, log into the member information center. That's one of the areas that you can click to get there, the store. But that fly out there that Jessica has um, really features a ton of our awesome uh, member benefits um, that are available to you as a member, discounts, um, ribbon cuttings, uh, our health plan, e-blasts, you name it, e-certificates if you're a manufacturing firm, um, and our chamber uh, community currency program. So um, that's a great place to go to find out information about your membership, information about the chamber, the media center, um, connecting with events, um, all there, as well as advocacy. But I wanna zero in on community. This is a great page um, for members. This is where you can get the word out to the, to the broader community. Um, there, of course, uh, member directory is there, but this is where um, people in the community can find your hot jobs, member-to-member um, -member deals, um, promotions, um, you name it, as well as our shop, our shop local program, which is um, made up of those hot deals and our, um, our community currency program. So um, just a couple of areas of our website that you can navigate to to find out um, all that, that we have to offer. Absolutely. There's one really important button here at the top I want to make sure we highlight too. Right here on this top bar in blue, you see a login button. So really easy to access. This is going to take you right to our member information center. So if you click that button, you're going to find yourself on this screen where you can log in um, with your chamber credentials. If you're not sure what those are, you can always reset your password, create a new login, or email or call us. We're happy to help you get set up with those. Before we go ahead and log in here, let's show you, take a minute, I want to show you really what you can get out of being logged in to the Member Information Center. So the MIC itself has so many great resources. Um, there's really a lot of reasons you would want to log in. It is for anybody who is involved in the chamber, for anybody that is a member. There are different permission sets that you can have on your MIC account, which we are happy to talk to you more about if that applies to you. But anybody can log in, and once you do, you'll find all of the features. Really, this area is meant to help you access your membership right in the palm of your hand, right from your desk at work, so that you can be getting the most out of your chamber membership. You can update your directory, which we're going to talk about today, upload marketing materials, access special member pricing for events. You can pay invoices, set billing preferences. You can also register for events. You can contact other Ooh. members. This is, I know there's so much. There's the contacting other members is a great feature that many people don't know is in there. So make sure you are using that business directory when you're logged mm -hmm. in. That's really wonderful. There's a resource library. We'll show you where that is. You can access press trainings and subscribe to emails. Now you can take a breath. <laughs> I know, there's so much. I mean, the, the, the functionality with this new site um, is is vast. And so we're excited for you to to um, find out more about it. Absolutely. So once you log in, I want to give you a little bit of a lay of the land of what you're going to see when you first come into the Member Information Center. So what you're going to see along that top navigation are going to be really where you can find, you've got highlighted in yellow tools to use. There's a few buttons that are going to be areas to input. And that's what we're going to really focus in on on this video. In the middle, you have a feed of what other members have maybe posted or input, new updates they've put in. And then there on that bottom left-hand side, you've got some really important quick links that you can click on about billing information, accessing good chamber updates, 
lots of great stuff there. Like I said, we're going to focus on those areas to input. So one of the biggest reasons you would want to input information in the Member Information Center is to update your directory profile. So in the business directory, the community can get tons of information about our members. And Colleen's going to show you here what those directory profiles look like. All right, thanks. So this is just a quick side by side um, of, of directory profiles. So what you're seeing here on the left is um, kind of your base um, directory profile. This is what comes with your membership um, and it's incomplete. It, you know, it's, it's begging for you to go in and add that information about your business. Um, and so is your business, you know, you want to promote your brand. Um, so as you can see, really not, um, not telling the story about what, who your company is and what you do on the right. Um, you could see a more complete profile. And so you, you know, you have in there, um, contact information, you know, phone numbers, emails, website, um, hours of operation, if you want to put those in um, directions, which is great for restaurants and retail. Um, and then you can have a description about the company. Um, and one of the great things that I love about chamber membership is it's not exclusive to a person at a company. It is the company. So anybody at your company, when you are a member, is a member of the chamber. And likewise, they can um, create a profile in the, the MIC. Um, so here we actually have uh, showcase one one person, but um, for this company, if they had 10 different people, those 10 people would um, would show up um, underneath the rep contact information. Now, again, these are um, an incomplete and a complete profile. What I want to show you next is the difference between that complete profile and um, what we have on the right is an enhanced paid profile. Um, this is an added feature for those businesses that really want to give a boost to their brand and, and really get um, get more marketing visibility. Um, and so as you can see, there is a lot more go going on. Um, visually, it is more engaging. Um, so if we wanna go live, Jessica, let's go pop to the website and we're gonna show you, um, it's actually the Chamber website um, profile. So as we scroll here, you can see, you know, we're, we're able to have um, a, a logo. We have um, our contact information, but the social um, links are right there um, and they're graphical. They really stand out. Map for driving directions. But as you scroll down, you can see there's so much more. Um, you're, you're allowed to have more content around about um, video um, and, and images is, was one of the things that really jumps off the page that is, is, difference, is the difference between um, a, a standard profile and an enhanced profile. One of the things that I love actually is the highlights section. Um, and this allows you to hyperlink or connect from your member directory to specific pages on your website. So if you have a landing page or promotion or event, you can highlight it here and people can connect directly to that page. So it's just something that, that I love. Um, and again, you're, you're, um, you're, you're not limited to, to just that base membership or that base listing. So member news, any news that you, you add to the MIC will show up here um, on your profile and people can link directly to it. And as you saw at the bottom, also the, the um, reps. So it, it's just so much more robust. So um, if you're looking for a boost in your marketing profile um, and you're, and you know, to uh, showcase your brand a bit more, um, I highly recommend um, enhancing your profile. And you can do that in the Chamber Store by just clicking membership and drop it down to Chamber Store. Awesome. So let me now show you how to make those beautiful profiles that Colleen was spotlighting for you. So what you're going to do is you're going to need to be logged in, just like we showed you before, to that member information center. And once you do log in, you're going to come across to the same homepage we showed you. So the settings tab is really where you're going to want to focus your attention. So once you get into settings, this is where you can update both your personal information as a representative and your company information. So when Colleen was showing you those boxes on the bottom with your rep info, that's all going to be found in here, your photo, your social networks, your profile information. I'm going to focus on your company information though. So in here, you're going to really want to update as much as possible. I'll show you the key areas though. So this first section, your profile summary is a roadmap to updating your profile. So it's going to show you right here, check marks or X's if you're done. Now we are uh, star students here at the chamber, so our profile is 100% complete. Um, but if you haven't made it that far yet, you may see some red X's when you, hey, you haven't updated a description yet, or hey, you need to add your website to your profile. So you can really kind of follow the roadmap here of what you need to add. 
your organizational information is going to hold most of the information for your profile. Here's where you're going to put your basic company info, your website, your address, all of that, that kind of basic information. And then in this website information tab, this is where you're going to put in those more robust fields that Colleen was pointing out, your social network, your website description area, those if you have an enhanced directory, here's where you can add the highlight links, um, and then the keyword section. So I always tell people, if you do no other part of your profile, which I hope you do, but if you do no other part, do the keywords. So our website is fully search engine optimized and Google and other search engines love sites that they know they can trust. Chambers of Commerce are in that list of trusted sites. So putting in these keywords is certainly gonna help your results on search, search engines like Google. So make sure that's filled out. Lots of other great fields here. You can set your categories to show up in, in the directory, add photos, logos, all of that great information. So this settings tab is the one that you really want to be hanging out on um, when you're updating information. We also want to show you just real quick some of the information that you can post to the community pages on our website. So Colleen, I'm going to hand that to you to go through. All right. Thank you. All right. So when you have a, a job posting or, or a hot job or um, a news item, um, you know, you definitely want to be posting it to to the chamber site through the MIC and, and it will show up on the MIC for members, but it also shows up on the uh, chamber website um, for the, the community at large. But it doesn't stop there. We are always looking to push your content out further and get that ripple effect and, and cast a wider net, if you will. So job postings, um, we have uh, a newsletter that goes out twice a month. And so any job that's been added uh, through the MIC um, gets included in this, this job exchange newsletter. So um, we are pushing that out um, to the community as well as to um, the local colleges and universities, um, state reps to add to their new newsletters. So um, it doesn't end with just posting to a website. Um, and you're gonna, you're gonna hear that message carried through um, also for news releases. We have our monthly newsletter that, that comes out um, the first week of the month. And any news item that you post the MIC gets included in that member news item. Again, we push that out to multiple places, again, with state reps, and um, they love to have content to add to their newsletters. So um, again, looking to, to um, get your content out and your news out further. And same thing with events. We have an events newsletter um, that goes out. So you're adding it to the calendar, um, but it's also being pushed out. Um, even in the chamber newsletter, we include some events, but really our events newsletter um, really kind of profiles the key ones. Um, and then lastly, um, Lastly, we have, Jessica, if you want to jump to uh, our shop local page. Um, so this is under the community section. And this is where your hot deals and your member, member to member deals show up. Um, you can see this, this is uh, the functionality is vast and, um, and it's just beautiful to look at. Um, so right now, you know, anytime that you have a deal, they're going to show up pinpointed on that map exactly where the location is of the deal what it is, you can expand on it to find out more information. So it is very interactive with the user. Um, it's getting your brand out there. It's showing you where you are in the community. So this is really um, making that connection between what your company has to offer that deal and what the, the community member or consumer is going to be getting from you. And I think it's really making a nice connection um, because it's so interactive. So it's not just a posting. Um, it's it's definitely interactive. They can zoom in. So um, highly recommend um, you taking advantage of um, all of that we have to offer from events, job postings, hot deals, you name it. Absolutely. I totally agree, Colleen. There is so much great stuff for our businesses to be using here. One of the last pages we want to show you is inside the Member Information Center, this reports tab. So if you are the primary representative for your company, you are able to access this um, or if you have that permission set. Um, which we can help you get set up for any of your employees as well, but it really is transparent through and through. So when you're updating to our website, you can come right in here and see how everything's performing. So say you updated, uploaded a job posting, you can click right here and see, okay, my posting has 630 views and it's performing really, really well. So you can see everything live right there. Yeah, there's just, there's just so much um, going on to be able to um, 
promote your brand, but also report how it's performing. Um, we're really your partner in business. And we want to help get that brand out there. We want to help you get your message out there. Um, and it's so important, um, you know, 365 days of the year, um, regardless of the year, but especially in the times that we're living right now. Um, so any little thing that we can do to help you uh, promote your, your company, um, we want to make sure that you're going to take advantage of it. If you have any questions, though, please feel free to reach out to the chamber. Um, we are all here to help you. Um, and as the director of member engagement, um, if you have any questions about your member benefits or anything, um, it's all on the website, but please call me uh, or email me. I'm happy to talk through anything or, or explain anything to you. Absolutely. For more information on updating your profile or our website, you can dive a little bit deeper in our Chamber 101 video on our YouTube page. Until next time, thank you so much for joining us, and we look forward to seeing you at a future Chamber event or web, web posting. Thanks. Thank you.